Hey, it's Wayne Wallace, the king of headshots. I'm not doing any headshots outdoors today. Look at this rain. It's crazy, it just started. But we only get a few days of rain here in Vegas. So it's actually quite enjoyable to have a little rain. Anyway, I just finished giving a five minute talk at my local Las Vegas public speakers club. And I encourage you to do the same thing. Get out there and speak. Speak for your business, speak for your cause, whatever it may be. You can even speak for applause. Maybe you just wanna tell some stories. What I'm doing is I'm using speaking and learning public speaking skills to improve my video making because I need more video for my business. Even though I create video for my clients, I need more video for my business. I'm usually behind the camera as a photographer. So I'm not gonna give my whole speech away. I talk about it in my speech. So I'm gonna let you watch it right after this. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And if you live in Las Vegas, I invite you to come to the next Las Vegas Public Speakers Club meeting. Most photographers would come up here and show you lots of pretty pictures on the screen and say, look how great I am, hire me. Now I could do that too, but I have something much more important to talk to you about today, and that's your business. If you'd like to see my pretty pictures later on, you can go to thekingofheadshots.com and check them out. I'd like to talk to you about being open to change, learning new skills, and learning new skills so you can stay relevant in your industry. I've had to do that for many, many years. Now, obviously, you know I'm a photographer, but I wasn't always a photographer. I started my career as a draftsman back in high school. I, learned, I went to a trade school in Massachusetts, and I learned the trade of drafting, <laughs> and I learned how to do technical drawings with pencil and paper, and then I went off into the engineering world, but I never touched a pencil and paper ever again. They used computers, and they did computer-aided drafting, or CAD for short. So for 15 years, I was a CAD designer and I worked with a program called AutoCAD. It was the leader in the industry. And I even learned how to program it and make it even more productive for my company. Then my company fell on hard times and started laying off people. So I called Autodesk, the company that makes AutoCAD, and I decided to apply for a job with them. I got hired over the phone and I moved all the way from Massachusetts to Northern California. Tripled my salary, everything was great. I was working as a programmer with the leader in the CAD industry. And then my world collapsed. The dot-com bubble burst, the Twin Towers were attacked and fell, and I got laid off. So I had to make a decision at that point. Do I stay in the industry that I'm in? Or do I go do something completely different? So I thought back to high school. And I also took photography class. And I was in the dark room doing my black and white printing. How many here have experienced that? Great, so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a great experience. And then I reflected on how the drafting or engineering industry had gone from pencil and paper to computers. And at that time, film was becoming digital in the photography world. And I thought, there's going to be a lot of change. So I decided that photography was going to be my new career path. So I went back to school in Massachusetts, where I'm from. So I had to drive all the way back to Massachusetts and go to the best photography school in the country. Then I graduated, top of my class, won a big award, got published in American Photo Magazine, 
and I moved here to Las Vegas to start my business. Now I'm not done transforming. That's why I'm up here in front of you, learning a new skill, speaking. I'm usually the guy behind the camera, hiding. Well, I'm up in, here in front of you today, learning to become a better speaker so I can get in front of the camera and create videos for my business. That's how I'm taking it to the next level. The latest trend right now is video marketing and personal branding. People want to know you. They want to know why should I do business with you. They want to binge watch your videos. That's what I'm doing for my business. And I challenge you to do the same thing in your business. I can't share with you everything that I want to share with you today because I've only got five minutes. So I'd like to offer you a free gift. If you'll take out your cell phone and text the word digital to the number 444-999, you'll get my 10 tips that you can use to improve your social media marketing today. In addition to that, I'll send you weekly tips and advice on how to use photos and videos to better market your business online. And last but not least, every month I choose one person to win a free headshot session with me, the king of headshots. <laughs> what do we love about Wayne, king of headshots one?